चैप्टर फोर क्लास एट एन सी आर टी टेक्स्ट बुक हनी ड्यू बेपिन चौधरी इज लैब्स ऑफ मेमरी पार्ट थ्री ना बिफोर वी गेट इन टू पार्ट थ्री लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वी डेड इन द लास्ट टू पार्ट्स सो वी सॉ दैट बेपिन चौधरी वॉज नॉट अ गुड मेक्सर एंड ही यूज टू बाय बुक्स एवरी टाइम एंड लाइक एवरी वीक एटलीस्ट फाइव ऑफ दैम एंड ही यूज टू लाइक क्राइम स्टोरीज घोस्ट स्टोरीज एंड थ्रिलर्स एंड ही वॉज नॉट अ गुड mixer and did not prefer spending his time in idle chat he in the bookshop in at on one monday he met a man named parimal ghosh and he claimed to meet him for one whole week in 1958 rachi and this man bepin chaudhary was very sure that he had never been to rachi and he this man um parimal ghosh also reminded him of how he had gotten hurt on his right knee and he had arranged a car for him and also when he was sitting with him having tea he had told him his intimate details such as his wife had uh, died 10 years ago and he had no children and his brother had died of in sanity now let's see what we saw in part 2 so still he did not remember when he had gone to rachi even after reminding so much so what he did was he felt very confused as uh, he thought he was losing his mind or he was becoming mad and he said that the man knew a great deal about him except for one word that was a mistake and that was rachi so he thought he was going and seen like his brother to cross check he rolled up his knees his his pants and saw that his knee had an old inch long cut and he was very surprised he tried remembering if he had had a cut in his childhood when he was playing but he could not and he also called mr dinesh mukherjee who uh, the man parimal ghosh had claimed to um spend time with or live at his home so uh, parimal ghosh had told um bepin babu that he was living it at dinesh mukherjee's house since he did not prefer hotel food and preferred to have his food cooked by a bavarji so he called him up and he told him something now i had asked you to find out what that answer was and tell me down in the comment section below so today as promised i will tell the answer to you right now what did mr mukherjee say did it comfort bepin babu or add to its to his worries so mr dinesh mukherjee said that in his diary it was written that he had gone out twice in 1958 and uh, once he had also gone with bepin babu to rachi so he also claimed to go and Uh, this did not comfort bepin babu it added to his worries now let's get into part 3 after lunch time bepin babu realized that he couldn't possibly carry on sitting at his desk and working he carry on means to continue so he couldn't possibly carry on sitting at his desk and working this had never happened in the 25 years he had been with the firm as you can see he was quite an experienced person and was working twin for 25 years in that company and this was the first time that he just felt like he could not work he could not carry on or continue with his work he had a reputation for being a tireless conscientious worker but today his head was in a whirl so this conscientious means careful and correct 
his head was in a whirl in a whirl means he was confused and he was unable to think clearly back home at 2:30 bepin babu lay down in bed and tried to gather his wits together he knew that it was possible to lose one's mem- uh, memory through an injury in the head but he didn't know of a single instance of someone remembering everything except one particular incident and in his case that incident was going to rachi and a fairly recent and significant one at that he had always wanted to go to rachi to have gone there done things and not to remember was something utterly impossible at 7:30 bepin babu's servant came and announced chuni babu sir says it's very important Bepin Babu knew that what Chuni had come for. Chuni Lal had been at school with him. He had been having a rough time lately and had been coming to see him about a job. Bepin Babu knew it was not possible to do anything for him and in fact told him so. But Chuni kept turning up like a bad penny. Turning up like a bad penny means appearing at a place where one is not welcome. Bepin Babu sent word that only that not only was it not possible for him to see chuni now but not in several weeks but as soon as the servant stepped out of the room it struck bepin babu that chuni might remember something about the 1958 trip there was no harm in asking him so can you see that chuni lal needed a job and this bepin babu was not ready to help him for a job but when he just realized that he can help me in my work he suddenly thought of going down and calling him again so it is like very selfish of him to do that right but we can look at it from his perspective also he was in lots of tension at that point of time that like how am, am i forgetting things i have such a good memory and all that so let's continue pepin babu hurried down the stairs in and into the living room chuni was about to leave but seeing pepin babu appear he turned around hopefully Pepin Babu didn't beat about the bush so he didn't go round and round and round he came straight to the point listen to me i want to ask you something you have a good memory and you have been seeing me off and on for a long time just throw your mind back and tell me did i go to rachi in 1958 chuni lal said 1958 it must have been 1958 or was it 1959 so he he showed that he was confused in 1958 or 1959 you're sure that i didn't go to rachi chuni's look of amazement was not unmixed with worry do you mean you have doubts about having gone at all did i go did i go do you remember clearly chuni sat down on the sofa pepin babu with a long hard stare said pepin sorry fixed bepin babu with a long hard stare and said bepin have you taken to some drugs or something as far as i know you had a clean record where things were uh, where things such things were concerned i know that old friendships don't mean much to you but at least you had a good memory you can't really mean that one you that you have forgotten about the rachi trip so he is very surprised at this point that he has completely forgotten this chuni lal has a confusion if he has gone in 1958 or 1959 but he is saying like this uh, bepin babu he is saying that is he uh, had he gone or had he not gone so they have two different confusions and chuni lal is very sure 
shop that he had gone in uh, like 1958 or 1959 but he had gone pepin babu had to turn away from chuni's incredulous stare so he was not able to stand it he was just feeling very disturbed do you remember what my last job was asked chunilal of course you worked in a travel agency you remember that and you don't remember that it was i who fixed up your railway booking for rachi i went to the station to see you off one of the fans in your compartment was not working i got an electrician to fix it have you forgotten everything whatever is in the whatever is the matter with you you don't look too well you know Bepin Babu sighed and shook his head. I have been working too hard, he said at last. That must be the reason. Must see about consulting a specialist. Doubtless it was Bepin's condition which made Chuni leave without mentioning anything about a job. So Chuni Lal was a very non-selfish person as you can see he was very caring looking at his friend's condition and his friend's uh, friend's worries and tensions he did not mention about his own worries and tensions he did not mention about his job Paresh Chanda was a young physician with a pair of bright eyes and a sharp nose. He became thoughtful when he heard about Bipin Babu's symptoms. So this is his dip- description. Paresh Chanda was a young physician with a pair of bright eyes and a sharp nose. Okay. He became thoughtful when he heard about bepin babu's symptoms look dr chanda said bepin babu desperately so he was very desperate he was very impatient you must cure me of this horrible inle- illness sorry illness i can't tell you how it is affecting my work so there's evidence how it was affecting his work so he was not able to concentrate okay was not able to concentrate and he was not able to continue sitting and working at his desk which was not good so he thought that it was greatly affecting his work you okay dr chanda shook his head you know what mr chaudhary i have never had to deal with such a case as yours frankly this is one quite outside my field of experience but i have one suggestion i don't know if it will work but it's worth it i what a try i can, it can do no harm so now a uh, doctor chanda was a very honest and frank person you can say because he himself told that person instead of bragging about yeah i know about this i've seen a lot of these cases and all of that he he uh, just said that he did not know such a case he had not had enough experience for such a case to deal such a case but he had uh, an idea which was quite harmless so let's see what that harmless idea was pepin babu leaned, leaned forward anxiously as far as i can make out said dr chanda and i think you your of the same opinion you must have been to rachi but due to some unknown reason the entire episode has slipped out of your mind what i suggest is that you go to rachi once again the sight of the place may remind you of your trip this is not impossible more than that i cannot do at the moment i am prescribing the a nerve tonic and a tranquil tranquilizer so what is this it is a medicine to cure and to reduce actually sorry not to cure to reduce stress and anxiety okay as far as i can make 
out said dr chanda and i think you are of the same opinion you must have been to ranchi but due to some unknown reason the entire episode has slipped out of your mind what i suggest is you go to rachi once again the sight of the place may remind you of your trip this is not impossible more than that i cannot do it the moment so he he accepted that more than doing this more than giving this advice to you i cannot do anything at this moment i cannot do anything right now okay and he prescribed a nerve tonic okay and a tranquil tranquilizer sleep is essential or the symptoms will get more pronounced pronounced here means they will get more clear or they may get they may increase or they may they may get uh, to such a uh, to such a point that it cannot be cured at all Pepin Babu felt somewhat better the next morning. After breakfast, he rang up to his office, gave some instructions, and then procured a first-class ticket for Ranchi for the same evening. Comprehension check. Okay, so let's get into the answers of comprehension check. Number one. Who was Chunilal? What did he want from Bepin Babu? Chunilal was Bepin Babu's close old school friend, and he just wanted help with a job, with finding a job from Bepin Babu. Number two, why was Doctor Chanda puzzled? What was unusual about Bepin Babu's loss of memory? Doctor Chanda was puzzled because his because he had never seen such a case ever before in his life and what was unusual about vipin babu's loss of memory it was unusual that not not a few years not a few random days but only this particular episode of going to ranchi had lo- had had been lost from his memory that was exactly a week which was very unusual Okay, so we'll look into part four in the next, uh, in the next chapter. I mean, sorry, in the next video, and then we look at the comprehension check, and we'll look have a look at this working with text too. But stay tuned till we do that. So make sure to like. and subscribe to this channel if you like our work and ring the notifications bell so that you do not miss the next update of part 4 thank you so much and bye happy learning